I said I wouldn't do it. Got another one. I don't have much more electrical capacity out here, but I did just pick up the Bitmain Amp Miner DR7. This is such a weird miner release, but that's an ASIC miner. It's a purpose-built custom computer. It mines one specific mining algorithm, one cryptocurrency, a sub $10 million crypto. Okay, that just doesn't really happen with mining. Uh, so I hooked it up, I plugged in the power, plugged in the ethernet, pasted my mining pool address, earning passive income, but how hard is it to realize profits? Let's break down everything about the DR7 and the coin that it mines uh, and how do they end up that this is worth several thousand dollars? That's, that's what's intriguing to me. There's a new mining rig, it earns more than it burns. It mines a small cap cryptocurrency that's actually an old cryptocurrency. It's the coin you may have never heard of by the mining rig manufacturer you have definitely heard of, and yet you actually may have never even seen or heard of this miner. I'm Vosk, I do all kinds of mining stuff. I'm working on building my own farm here on the Vosk on YouTube channel. We're gonna be looking at the Bitmain DR7. The mining profitability, what the hell does it mine? And uh, we're gonna have a little talk about liquidity today. Check it out, check it out. This is SCP, okay, Sidecoin Prime or SC Prime. This is an old coin, old fork, uh, SC. I mean, Sidecoin is a weird coin that we've talked about uh, and not particularly well over uh, the years. But the bottom line is we got this rig in and this is a new miner it's a new mineable coin so uh, i mean check this out right we have the mining device it's an asic miner it looks like all the other asic miners it's got the typical power supply you see with s19s right not the latest generation but the previous generation of mining rig uh devices and designs you plug in two c13 connections it's got attached power supply that means it's going to be 220 voltage plus right 28 voltage plus on this thing not something you plug into a normal wall outlet in the house ethernet for internet and then it's online and, and you copy and paste your address and it starts hashing you get your ip address log into it and uh just put a uh, username worker name right in this case i'm using dx pool uh, you'll probably be using DX pool too because well, let's talk about all of our lovely options Okay uh, That's going to be DX pool and SC prime pool here two options and uh, one of these in particular is Very well suited normally to work with uh, ASIC miners uh, So we've got a link in the video description that uh, supports the channel if you do des uh, decide to make an account with DX pool you can see my performance here with this miner over the last couple of days. Uh, it's mining in a terrible environment. It's like 95 degrees Fahrenheit in there, static, uh, not much airflow, continues to work. You can see day by day I've earned 37 coins, 36 coins, 32 and a half coins, a big drop there. Uh, we'll write that up as maybe a little bit of discrepancy. We did see unit income drop there uh, by nearly 10% from point uh 0 0.29 scp a terahash to 0 0.26 uh, scp per terahash sc prime is only 19 million dollars it trades at 34 cents a coin uh so if this 10x right it would only be 180 million uh and these would be huge returns something like 100 bucks a day uh you know easy earnings well the 10x i mean that's a huge if uh, it doesn't have the long-standing, you know, success and status. You could say that Sciacoin has, for whatever reason, Sciacoin trades at $300 million uh, market cap, right? Massive distance in between the two projects, essentially, you know, going after the same, uh, you know, let's call it target market, right? Uh, it's been uh, promoted by them that this is a 12-month ROI on the initial batch, uh, they boast it was sold mainly to loyal community members, though some resellers got a hold of a few. Uh, if they know, I would love to hear about how many of these were apparently made. We could look at the network hash rate and, 
and crank some math there. We look at the earnings of 10.50 a day that they share, 3,800 a month. Uh, and then after you pay a 10 cent per kilowatt hour electricity bill, you'll be pulling a whopping 1,400 over the next year. Uh, this miner is, to be honest, absolutely disappointing for mining profitability returns because when we take these numbers, right, and we'll, we'll punch in 34 coins, it's like 11 and a half dollars and it's up 20% in the last 24 hours. It's up 125% in the last 30 days. And the volume is rocketing up. I mean, it, it did thousand two thousand three thousand dollar volume days and now it's doing a hundred thousand right so we've got a project that is absolutely f***ing taking off or being absolutely manipulated okay i understand that bitmain the miner manufacturer here at play they sell out batches of mining rigs they, they take individual orders bigger than their market cap you think they can't mess with this i'm not saying they are i'm not saying they're not Hobbyist miner called their project risky. They didn't like that. They've also rebranded themselves to Deepin, a newer term here. Here's a quick synopsis of what hobbyists had to say on this device. This ASIC miner may be dangerous and risky when it comes from an investment perspective. SC Prime, distributed data center, enterprise grade cloud storage, anti-fragile chain. Uh, very proud of the ASIC aspect. And, and, and that's fine, honestly, like uh, it's fine uh, to be ASIC mined. I mean, GPUs are absolute trash uh, in this era of mining. And, and, and it's over, it, it, it's over if you're dreaming and hoping of you know better GPU days. You understand that GPUs are going to be so sucked up by the AI market basically from now on moving forward for forever that you will never get cheap graphics cards and there are huge ai data centers now slash more being built that can flip over to profitable mining like just like that if it was there uh so there's basically no graphics card that makes even a quarter a day right after you account for a 10 cent per kilowatt hour electricity bill it's done son uh, it's unfortunate because I love GPU mining and it's what got me into cryptocurrency. But those are different times, different days, different era, and the, and all of those are gone. Uh, so I, speaking of ASICs, right? I got the DR7 in thanks to Million Miner uh, for helping us procure this miner, getting us in, helping us you know get this to review. Uh, we have an uh, we have an affiliate link with them that supports the channel, and we also have a coupon code. Both of those are down in the video description below. At the time of recording this, these are sold out. Million Miner, of course, sells all kinds of other ASIC miners. You can check it on their shop. Uh, per their site, this is a three thousand two hundred dollar minor i believe it was listed as a little bit cheaper when they originally came out we can see the scp tab on bitmain site it's of course sold out and uh whatever you see on their site if you don't know remember that there's always a 30 percent tariff at play here and if you want coupon savings you normally need to place a order in the hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollars of value to get that full coupon value uh, so it's never what it seems on their site. It's just that typical crappy Asia Eastern world marketing style smoke and mirrors. But miners aren't the only way to earn on SC Prime. You can also provide storage and you are paid for providing that storage. It's an alternative uh, to say Chia hard drive mining. They call this rent uh, and the incentive is, is, is exactly that. You're rewarded. Uh, in their coin for basically helping build out and crowdsource uh, their network. There's the XA miner that kind of looks to fill that gap. There's a couple other solutions there as well. Uh, but much like uh, Chia hard drive mining, uh, hard drives are not cheap and uh, it's very expensive versus low returns. But hey, the upside's there, right? If this thing takes off, it'll be very lucrative. But you could say that about very many different things there's no other notable coins you're going to be mining with this miner on this device on their algorithm uh, so it's imperative that this project does well for your miner purchase to do well where can you trade this well let's first sort let's go ahead and blow this up in case there's more there's not there's 11 and we're going to sort this by volume 
So if you don't know, Trade Ogre is a scam. Many people have had their Casper coins locked up in there for a long time. Uh, Trade Ogre owes me thousands of dollars, thousands and thousands of dollars of Casper that they are holding against my will, among many others. Uh, they're a trash exchange, they're a scammy exchange, and it's disgusting that they continue to exist and operate uh, while people like me are sitting here with stuck funds. Uh, these other exchanges, right? So this is going to be a decentralized exchange. Uh, same with Jupiter, and then there's also Orca. Uh, so bottom line is there's not much exchange support. What is SC Prime doing about it? Well, they say that a new centralized exchange listing is in the works. What can you get in the works pretty quickly as a project like this with a budget that I'm just going to estimate in my head? Probably going to see something like a Mexi listing. That's a lower tier centralized exchange that has a lot of market maker pro uh, programs. They are not super expensive, but they are very expensive for what it is, in my opinion. Uh, and, you know, you capitalize on this and the hype and the momentum. You, you want to get any sort of listing, right? If Bitmain would maybe flex them, their muscles at all, they could get them onto some higher tier uh, centralized exchanges. So uh, at rank number 1,028, I mean, this is one of the lowest market cap ASIC mineable coins out there. Probably the only thing smaller would be Handshake, which has been doing atrocious and one of the worst miners I've picked up in my life. I don't know if there's a comeback story here for this coin. Well, yeah, that's the quick review and breakdown of the Bitmain Ant Miner DR7, the SCP, uh, SC Prime Miner. Uh, not many of these out there. It's earning more than it's burning, but remember that liquidity uh, is low. And to be very precise, depending on where you go to trade, uh, you know, we're seeing daily trading volume that, that is going up, uh, but around $100,000. And the coin price is going up, uh, which is good to see. By utilizing DX pool, you don't have to immediately make a wallet or grab an exchange address, which is never advised. Uh, you can let your coins sit in DX pool for a little bit until you decide what you're going to do. It's always best to fire up your own wallet and be the custodian of your coins. If you trust a mining pool or you trust an exchange to hold your coins, you could very well be rugged, much like we just mentioned earlier here in reference to Trade Ogre. So hey, I'm Bosker on the Bosco on YouTube channel. This is our CMR Chief Mining Officer. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you subscribe and stick around. I'm talking as fast as I can and I'm running out of air. Goodbye.